Welcome to our next episode. We are in Nungwe Forest, heading north to Kigali to go and do hopefully my last blood test. Only time will tell. Yes, because it's so much fun. Yes. I can't wait. Give us on four wheels to share our adventures on Patreon and YouTube. Join us as we travel our wonderful world. Share our posts. Louis and Karin would love you to experience adventure people places. Subscribe to our Patreon page or YouTube and come along on our adventures. Nungwe Forest is one of the last pristine African forest. I think it's called the Montane Forest. And this, um, you can do chimp trails, chimps, monkeys. Vervet monkeys, they said, and lots of columbine monkeys, and what's that other big apes? <laughs> Gorillas. Gorillas. Yeah. But we're not going to do any of that. Mm -hmm. We are just appreciating a forest. Mm -hmm. um, it is extremely thick foliage. I don't think I've ever seen a forest this, this overgrown Dense. and densely mm -hmm. grown. And there's um, army guys every 50 meters. So, so yeah, we're not yeah. sure, but yeah, yeah, they look very ready for action. Helmets, backpacks, radios. So we, I will do a little bit of a time lapse of our drive through the forest to give you an idea. We're on the road again, very nice drive today. We are driving next to Lake Rwanda, one of the smaller lakes in Rwanda and again the greenery and the scenery is blowing our, our minds. Indication of how populated or overpopulated Rwanda is, there's a little, a very little island on the lake and even there people are growing food. And that just shows the shortage of land and the amount of people in Rwanda. So today is our last day in Rwanda, doing the last few rounds of hills. Of hills. Um, it, was a, it was a lovely stay here, except for the, the hiccups of the illness. But I passed my test. Yes, he passed They claim test. I'm healthy. Do you feel healthy? Yeah, much better. Energy levels is coming back. Cool. So thank you, Rwanda. You were green. You were clean. We really enjoyed your stay. It shows that if people can actually move on from horrible things, yeah, they can do wonders. Yes. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. The um, beautiful lakes that I haven't heard of. Um, green, very green, and the people very friendly. I mean, yeah. So lakes. overpopulated, in my opinion. If they stop breeding, oh. the country will even be better. But it, okay, so while while driving, I thought I'll give you a few interesting facts of Rwanda. Um, first of all, the speed limit is 40, 60, or maximum of 80 kilometers an hour. We initially thought it was um, very low, but if you see the amount of hills and turns up, there's not really a straight road here, then you automatically do that. Um, so it takes you a lot longer to actually get to a destination. Um, then Rwanda is also the country, I think in the world, let me just check my facts. It is the fourth smallest country on the continent in Af of Africa, or the 149th biggest. You can choose which one you want. The 90% of the population are involved in agriculture or mineral. Um, they farm on the hills and the first of all I thought it's very difficult to do it, but I mean the whole country exists of hills. So if you don't farm on the hills, then you can only farm on 30% of the land. They have five volcanoes, inactive. Um, oh. Rwanda's parliament has the most female members in the world and the universe. 
no walking across the lawns or grass in Kigali. Um, they, they want to promote Kigali as a green city, so I think you might get fined if you walk on the grass. Drones were introduced for medical services, especially the transport of blood, one of the first countries who started doing that. Okay, we're approaching a straight. And now, today we're heading into Uganda, so we'll take you with us and show you the wonders of Uganda. Uh, maybe a little less really weird, but just as green. So, come along on the road. And wow, did Uganda surprise us. Entering from the south, we visited the Crater Lakes area, full of banana and tea plantations. There are many lakes scattered between the hills. We camped at three different lakes in a week. Good morning, we're at the Kasinga Channel between the two parts of Queen, um, Queen Elizabeth National Park. We've got Lake Edward and Lake George. Well, as like Diana. <laughs> yeah, on the one side, and we're going on a boat trip this morning to go and see some birds. Yes. First time in a while, Karina has been so happy to be up mm -hmm. this early. We, we woke up at six. She looks very happy. You can see there, very happy. Um, and we'll take you along on the ride. Yes. And these are predators to the kingfishers. After visiting Queen Elizabeth National Park, we made one of our best discoveries of this trip. By chance, we decided to visit the Reverend Zori Founders Open Air Art Gallery. This hidden gem is a must visit. There are art from many different bronze artists on display, and the bird life in the garden is not too shabby either. And so ends episode 27. We've been a week in Uganda already after leaving Rwanda. Yes, um, Uganda is just greener than Rwanda. I think it's because the ratio between land and, and population is a bit better. Um, we can drive on the right side of the road. And what was the other thing? No. Oh, we're one hour ahead of you. <laughs> One hour ahead of South Africa, depending where you are. Yes, yeah. and yeah, and as you can see, we used our awning two days, so. Karin's very is proud that, that, that she's using the awning yeah. for a change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the weather is sunny over midday, cloudy in the morning, cloudy in the evening, and a little bit of rain here and there. Mm -hmm. And um, we just would like to thank all our patrons. It's you guys that make um, our channel possible and help us pay the way. Um, remember, if you are a Patreon that, sub that subscribes to $5 per creation, then you will be getting a very special prize at the end of the year. So uh, handmade. Keep, keep, keep that in mind <clears throat> and click that subscribe button. Thank you for your, also your support. Next time on Fearless on Four Wheels, we visit Morrison Falls National Park.
I nearly have a close encounter with the elephant. <laughs>